Whoa. Got the lead off. No, still not ready. Just got a fish tucker man's door. Alright, welcome back. Today's the last day of the snap up end here in Perth, Western Australia. Let's get into it. Try and get some night vision, turn off the slight. Let's go fishing. Alrighty, so I'll put the anchor down. My main concern is that the anchor's going to hold from the sand, not drag me on the reef, otherwise I'll lose a, an anchor. But looks like I'm stable. Alright, let's get into it. So I already got the burly done. Turn the engine off. There's actually a half a pack of the pilchard smashed up with pellet, pellets. So I left it overnight in the boat. Real nice and soft and mushy. The sun is just creeping up, it's overcast. Look, if they're here, they're here. If they're not, it's worth a shot. I was going to go somewhere else, but these conditions, I just said, no, nah, I'm going to try this spot again, my favourite spot, and uh, wait for the next time the band is open. Before I get the bait ready, I'm just going to throw the soft plastic out. And it gives me a good idea of where the current's going. Yeah. The fish alarm already going off, but that's just a burly. It's the burly pot. Oh, so I'm getting bashed around here, which is good. <laughs> but the snapper is not for me. That's all right. Just using the half pilchers as per usual. We've got a bit of a ball, a bean sinker down there too, just to keep it in the current, not flying up to the surface. These waves and stuff are really making everything moving heavy. You can see my line here already. It's definitely going that way, that way. See this small one getting attacked. There we go. There we go, first fish. Drag way too loose. That's what we got here. Tugged species. Yeah. That's two an old snapper. Big ones are around where these guys are. The swell doesn't bloody make me sick. It's really choppy though. <laughs> you can see why no one's out here. Couldn't be bothered. That's alright. So I had to reset the anchor. This wasn't this wasn't happy there. We got it pre-tied down so if when, it, when it sticks, that's all I need to do to make sure it does stick. Got a lot of line out. It's kind of like acts as a shock absorber with these swirls and bounces. All right, we've got fish on here. Fish on. It could be what we're looking for. Could be a good one too. Let's go on the other side. Which I don't like going that outside. Got no choice. Let's go for a walk. Oh. Oh. That's got to be a snapper. Let's get rid of these rods. Man. I think I need a dickie. This is a good one. I'm just trying to see if my. My drag is too loose. This is my lighter outfit too. It's like a dead weight. If it's a fish, definitely a fish. I'd say he swallowed, he swallowed the hook. That's what they do when they get a dead weight. Good fish. Coming over here. Oh, 
Don't go that way, mate. I've got a burly pot there. <laughs> oh my god. Could be a good size. And this is a broom rod. So so much flex. Just gotta. This is a sand boy. It's just running too much for a snapper. Just want to see some colour. I see some colour. Looks big. Got leader. No, still not ready. <laughs> That's definitely a sand boy. Come on. Oh. I had a leader before. Just not ready. Leader again. FG not. Come on. He's a big stinking sandboy. Yeah. Sandboy. <laughs> big one. Holy moly. That's a big. Oh. Oh my god. My rod just snapped. My rod just snapped. Woo! What a fight. Here you go. Snap me rod. I should have let the line out. Oh. Mate. <laughs> I'm awful curry, but in the morning, give me a break. <laughs> That's a good fish. I'm gonna keep this one too. It's actually a good edible size one. Good size. Sand boy. There you go. Beautiful fish. Whew. Take a few shots of this one. Just measure him up. Oh, fuck. So he's gone 86 centimetres. And I will keep this one. I don't think I'll catch snappers today. That's going to be getting some good fillets. I'll show you how to catch a cook sandboy fish. Samson. Woo! Yeah. I'm naked. And the bugger snapped my rod on the last minute. Lucky I bought a backup. Okay. Let's go. Sambo, um, a lot of people throw them back. I've got one, and I got one viewer or subscriber from um, Esperance if you if you're watching the show, and he says, look, mate, the Sambo's are just fantastic eating. They are prone to some sort of parasite. It's not it's not harmful to human health. It's just that the fish might go a bit soft and mushy. Oh, huh. reeling this up, and this skippy just came up, and chased. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, you go. Fish on here. Oh no, it's a, it's a snapper. Got him on the side. Actually, no, he's a tarwine. Yeah, he's a tarwine. 
And they are very good eating too. I caught one a while ago too. Quickly measure him up. He was hooked for the belly. So I want to do him justice. He's, he's a legal size one. I'll keep that because having a hook for the belly, it's not very favourable. And he'll really do well. Oh yeah. This is going to be a, curry, a bit of curry. Um, went for the bait, came off, but then bada bing it went on again. Actually, not too bad. Let's see what he's got here. He's run all over the place. I, I knew it. Oh my god, that's a monster size skippy. Monster size skippy. Oh my god, that is probably the biggest skippy I've seen for a while. I'm gonna measure him up. I'm not gonna keep him. Got that big salmon to deal with. Let's have a look at that. It's gone 38 centimetre. Whoa! Oh my god. Yeah, see, mate, like your lucky day. Good fight. Rain's kinda come in pretty bad. I didn't want to get wet. Oh, that one there, I've actually didn't put the, didn't put the uh, bail arm down. It's running. Oh, you go. Yes, yeah, so this one ran. It's not a big size, definitely a snapper. I reckon the snap are going to be coming on the bike as soon as the front comes through. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a sandboy. Okay. Sandboy. <laughs> right, so I left it pretty late. Now it's starting to piss down. Anyway, head back home. That uh, sandboy. I'm going to show you how you cook it up. Bleak. This is weird. Got a big ship right near the rocks. Oh, that's pretty scary stuff. He's anchored up, so I'd say he's waiting for a um, tow. There's no way my boat can tow that. Right. I'm going to flip this guy here. It's big. I haven't, I haven't cleaned a big fish for a while. <laughs> Your usual stuff I'm over here. So I'm just cutting through the skin so I can get my knife in there. business With the knife, I'm actually going to cut through the ribs. Goodness me, moved so many times. It's also a good way to blunt your knife. Huge fillet. The flesh looks pretty good. Right, so before I, I skin it, I'll just cut down the whole lateral line here. Just way too big to skin. 
<laughs> Alrighty. That's a bit better. Skins off, let's have a look. Perfect job. Perfect job. So I'm just trying to harvest this big piece. I've got a chore so I can go right across. Or what I'm doing, I'm making these strips here. Actually go and cut them across like that. Look at that. Nice fish and chips. I think that's the what I'll do. I'm no, <laughs> I'm no fish bung up in regards to knowing how to cut fish, especially these big, big fish. Look at all that fish, Tucker. Whew, that's a lot of, a lot of fish. I'll definitely have to hand this out to family and friends. All right, let's um try this piece a try any piece i don't know right so this is a bit of a taste this is a bit of a test i've got semolina with salt semolina so because there's a nice crunchy texture to it i've just got these two pieces here i'm just going to cook up nice and easy no deep batter just a bit of olive oil It's cooking in no time. Bastard. Bit of time. So it hasn't collapsed. So the flesh is actually quite good. As I said, this fish is prone to either collapse and becoming a mush, becoming like a mud or hard brick. That still looks like it's actually retaining its texture pretty good. Oh no, let's give it a taste. It smells good. It's hot. It's good. Good shot. This is good. <sighs> Very nice and tasty, neutral, flaky. It hasn't collapsed, so I know the fish is good. I think this is my cook up, nice and simple. I was just curious because I got a lot of fillets to quickly show you. And I was just going, oh no, maybe I'm wasting my time, but no chance. So from here, or from here, to filleting, to cooking. Oh. Fish tucker man style. So I want to get fancy. I don't think that cook up was justified, but that's beautiful fillets here. I'll just show you, I'm actually steaming two beautiful pieces here. And I've got a risotto underneath it. Sorry about the camera getting all foggy. So definitely beautiful fish right here, sandboat, a few of these I'll throw into the risotto. Check this out, nice beautiful risotto, I've got some fish pieces in there as well, just have a quick taste test with the rice and the fish. I'm outside because I've got the TV on and you don't want to hear the news, Tom Petite. Steamed Sambo, it is soft, delicious. Mind you, the risotto is pretty good, but no. Uh, anyway, as an alternative 
to what I did before for cook up. You know what to do, make sure you like, subscribe. See you next time, Don Petit. Take it fish, easy. Tucker, fish, tucker, fish, oh, yeah. tucker, fish, tucker, man. Fish, tucker, fish, tucker, the fish, tucker, man.